So this was my gaming setup. I had a broken glass table that I got from my brother's house. I didn't have no posters, I didn't have any lighting. But over time, I worked hard and I saved up and this is the results. I'm actually removing this bed to the spare kind of bedroom to kind of give me some more space in my setup. So I can kind of use this as kind of like my my YouTube slash recording setup. Let me know what you guys think I should add. You know, if I should add some posters here or just something here. The setup hasn't changed as you can see, so watch the video to the end and I hope you guys enjoy it. Yo, what is up guys, it's Josh Piff here. I'm back with another video and yo, y'all niggas see the title. Today, I'm gonna be doing a setup tour slash room tour. Now yo, a lot of niggas, I don't know why I say niggas, but <laughs> a lot of people keep asking me, what's your PC specs? What kind of lighting do you use? What's your camera? What type of lens? What's your mic? So today, I'm gonna just Give that all in a room tour. Now, yo, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Join the crew. We are the flyest community on YouTube. So if you want that drip, be sure to subscribe down below. You guys see the timeline of how long the video is. So if it's too long, then yo, I'm sorry. But I'll try to make it short as I can. But if you're a real Josh Piv supporter, then y'all will watch to the end of the video. Also, I forgot to mention, a lot has changed. Before, I would, you know, when you go and you hear me search up like dead up tour or like or, or like a room tour, them niggas be having the most fire ass setup. Like their room be looking like freaking Drake, Drake's house. I'm like, how you niggas afford all this nice shit? I was kind of embarrassed. But yo, it's a lot to unpack. I'll try and go quick, but let's go. I have this, which is kind of just like a board, like like a whiteboard to keep me kind of like on track. So when I wake up in the morning and like I get ready, this is all I see when I wake up and go out my door. Kind of gives me like a like a motivational vibe every morning, which I think is pretty handy. This is the room. This is all literally. This is all that I see. But before we get onto the actual desk, so I gotta show you some of the drip. Essentially, right, right over here is where I keep all the drip. I'm gonna show you a few pieces. And show you like my favorite ones just to start off the video. Now I did a sneaker video where I showed off all my sneakers. So if you haven't seen that video, then you know, click somewhere on the screen. There'll be like a you know a card where you can watch the sneaker video because that shit got some heat. Yeah, so we got the Raph Simmons, Detroit Runners. You know, these are fire. These are pretty fire. You know, I used to wear these a lot. Now I don't wear them as often, but these are still really fire. There's a lot of scratches on it because I wore them a ton. And these are Sui Kirk made out of vibranium, the strongest rubber I think that you can get. So this is pretty fire, and I wear these quite a bit as well. What else can I? What else? Uh, these are designer shoes, Saint Laurent. I don't wear them as much, but these are pretty fire. Um, these got ruined at a Uzi Vert concert actually. You know when I went to the Uzi Vert, bro. That mosh pit, that shit. Wow, niggas were stamping all over my shit. I walked in, they clean. I came out with some ripped T-shirt. My pants were sweaty. And literally, these, these shoes were ruined. In terms of the clothes, shout out Home Invasion. This hoodie is fire. It's like the rhinestone, however you want to call it. This shit is fire. Shout out to my, my dogs, Home Invasion. Shout out to my LGBT niggas <laughs> supporting the Pride Month, even though that's done. This is my Palm Angels pants. These are track pants. These are fire. You know, um, I had these, I got these in 2019. I don't wear them out too often now. Just because y'all niggas know. With like, you know, the whole sensitive shit with the LGBT and Pride Month, every time I wear these pants and I go to the city, niggas gonna think I'm supporting some type of Pride Month. So if, if y'all niggas want these pants, I've worn them a few times. Yo, feel free to hit my line. These ones as well, these are silky pants that kind of change based off the sun. Pretty fire, pretty fire. I also make my own clothes. I made it myself, actually. These are pretty fire. These are corduroy pants, so. It says Tammy, which is my rap name. You know, it's pretty fire. These are basically pants that has like, you know, you can see like the belt 
um, the buttons, everything, pretty fire. I made a crew neck, which is pretty fire. I made this from scratch, by the way. Um, I actually, I drew my own patterns and I sewed my own shit. So, you know, I put a pocket in there, it says Tammy. I kind of might make this merch. I might make this shit merch, I'm not gonna lie. If y'all niggas want this to be merch, then let me know. But then again, it takes me a couple, it takes me like two days to make one. And I haven't learned how to make them for every size. So that might be an issue. But if I can find a supplier that's gonna help me out, or I can find someone that can help me out as well, I think this will be pretty fire. Cause I made this shit myself, completely from scratch, and it fits me perfectly. Aside from that, these are just jackets I wear when I'm going out. This one is from Chicks Downtown, a corduroy jacket, pretty fire, pretty fire. What else do I have? Uh, this jacket is fire, bro, I wear this a lot. This jacket is fire. It's the I Don't Smoke, the World Peace one. This shit is fire. And on the back, this literally says peace. This shit is insane, this shit fire. Embroidered, everything, this shit clean. Other than that, it's just, I got a Prada jacket, which I wear every now and then, cause it's pretty nice and warm. You know, it's pretty fire. And then I have this. It's a custom made denim jacket. I don't wear it too much because look at that shit. Like if I wore it once and, and I freaking was drunk, this shit about to rip the whole jacket off. <laughs> but it's nice, it's really nice. I used to wear it a lot, but not as much anymore. But I think it's like a, a sentimental piece where I can just look and be like, all right, this shit crazy. Pretty fire and it stays right here. No matter what happens, I can't blame you any longer, which is fire. The last but not least we got over here was just a flower suit that I actually wore in my school ball. Pretty fire. Yo, if y'all niggas need a prom, if y'all niggas need that prom drip, that high school prom drip, I got gotcha. you. It's got the pants, the jacket, everything you need. Bro, this shit hella fire. There's a few hats that you kind of seen in my videos, like the smiley face one. Um, this one, I think this one, and this one that says Joshua's Tree, which is my name. Now my name is not, it's not Joshua Tree, but like, <laughs> it's got, you know, it's got Joshua right on the hat, so it's pretty fire. And a couple sneakers, you know, especially y'all niggas see me flex this a lot. My off-whites, my Nike off-white dunks, my prize positions. Bro, this shit's fire. Shit, this shit fire. Fire, fire. I don't wear this too much, because I'm not trying to get this ruined. I paid a lot for these. If y'all see me wearing these, then y'all niggas know I'm trying to stunt on that day. By the way, if you're wondering how the pants I made fit, let me show you. Let me show you how they fit. If I can... Yeah, so it's not too bad. These aren't too bad, especially, you know, the way that it fits. And it actually goes right down to the, to the legs. So, it's pretty fire. Alright, I guess I've showed you most of the clothes. Um, not really much else, but I'll show you. This is what you guys see. So when I'm recording, you kind of see the background. This right here is a lamp that my mom got off the street for free. She was like, look, I know you do the YouTube, I found this for you, and it's been working ever since, for like five goddamn years. Now one side doesn't work, but it's not too bad. Yeah, so, you know, a lot of the background, this is like the low sitting and the highest sitting, and then always I can twist it around, and bring it to wherever I want. If I wanna bring it to me, I can just do that. And as you guys can see, this is the Nano Leaf RGB strip, which I guess I used to kind of add more color to the background. So I just switch it on. So there's the colors. You know, I see the two like a rainbow color. So it kind of changes every now and then. So you can see it's, it's yellow and it's gonna switch to green. It kind of changes, which I think is pretty cool. Other than that, uh, there is my Kanye poster. One of my favorite purchases. I kind of got it because Kanye is an inspirational person to my life. And you know, it's fire. You know, it's fire, it's, called, it's the Yeezus album. It's got everything with the wave lamps. And I'm a rapper, as you guys all know. I've been on the radio. I've been performing, you know, I've been performing a few shows here and there. This music shit and the way that poster is, is fire to me. That shit is fire. We got some shoes. These ones are the Nike Dunks, the Halloween edition, which they also, they glow in the dark, which is pretty fire. And these ones are the custom made Ice Cream Chuck Air Force Ones, which are kind of a no to my song Ice Cream Chuck, which did really well. That was kind of like a, a custom made to say, hey, congratulations on your success on that song. I don't wear them too much because these are like a prize shoe, but you know, these are still really fire. These ones are the Nike Dunk Sarah Cruz. Uh, these ones are the Flame Converse shoes, which I wear when I'm skating, you know, every now and then these are fire. And these ones are the JW Anderson Converse with the glitter, which is fire. Um, I wear them every now and then, you know, these just uh, the glitter shoes, pretty fire. And I guess you can kind of, I'll show you the rest. Uh, this is more like where I keep like my headphones. Um, you kind of see I got some Sony's, 
Uh, my main ones are the Sennheisers, which I don't know where they are. But yeah, the Sennheiser headphones are my main ones that I use currently. Um, I just got like like a razor essentially where I just I shave my beard. After Dante, bro, Dante, after what Dante said about my beard, I had to get a razor. So I got this shit. Um, there is like, some glasses, I think. You know, um, these ones are fire. This is what Cardi B wore in a music video for the Migos song. How do I look? How do I look? <laughs> Yo, how do I look with these glasses on? <laughs> bro, I look like, bro, I look like a middle-aged man who's living in freaking Italy or something, going on vacation, <laughs> drinking some nice beer with these glasses on. <laughs> Versace, Versace, Versace. <laughs> oh, God damn. I'm going to take these off. Um, this is just the cupboard. Um, nothing much in interesting in here. I keep my clothes, other stuff in here, like my headphone boxes or any boxes that I don't really use, but I still need. Um, my old keyboard, I keep all my sewing stuff in here. Aside from that, we got my gaming chair, which is comfortable. Now, I wish I would have got them red, just because my whole setup is kind of black and red, and it's just, it's just a, you know, a standard type of chair. We got my studio LED panels. You know, I use that to light up my videos. When you see me do a reaction video, I'm using these. So yeah, these are pretty bright. You're gonna see it's pretty bright. Um, I use both of them. They kind of seem to light up my face at each time. And I have a ring light, which I recently started to use. Um, you know, so now I guess you get a lot more light. Onto the disc, onto the PC, I guess. You know, I might as well turn it to the side. You guys can see the PC is right over here. And you guys can see my mic, which is what you guys see when I'm recording. And uh, I'll give you insight and just tell you about my desk and my setup and my equipment. So you guys gonna see which type of stuff that I use. For the disc, we have, it's a Gorilla disc. Bro, that's just what it is. That's what the company is called. It's, it's, it's a Gorilla made disc. This one is a sit and stand disc. It's 1.4 meters wide. But yeah, it's a high just with this. So you can just sit and watch this go up and up. I can use this as like a sit and stand disc. I don't know what's the best place to put my camera because I don't have like a... I'll use my phone. You guys can, so I'll record off my phone so you guys can see a better... Um, yeah, I guess... Um, I don't know how I can kind of show you this. This is... I guess this might be a better... But yeah, I'm standing. I'm not sitting down, so I can... So essentially, I'll just show you guys my camera setup. Um, I'm, I'm using this road mic because obviously I'm not recording off my computer, which is why you see me using the road mic. And yeah, I guess it's a 35 mil 1.8 lens. And I guess, you know, that's the camera itself. I don't have any kind of magic, you know, behind the camera. I'm not using no expensive $5,000 camera. This is literally, this is all that I use. In terms of the headphones that I use to react, I have the Audio Technicas M40s. And uh, these are made for mixing. So if you make a lot of music, these will have like a flat sound. That's why for me, I chose these ones over like some other brand because I need something that will give me real sound. Like something that will actually give me sound the way it sounds from the studio. And these ones, because these ones are flat, these ones are perfect for that. Um, I still use a PS4 controller just for gaming. I ain't used to the keyboard yet. So I got a PS4 controller just for gaming. For the keyboard I use is the Razer Wireless Black Widow B3. This, this name is long. 60%, no, 65% mechanical keyboard. This shit is fire. You know, I, I kind of did the effect for it. Pretty nice. Sounds nice. I'm not really the one that cares about the sound, but it sounds nice. In terms of the mouse, it is the Razer Viper. You know, it's a wide mouse. It's, it's not really nothing to rave about. It does a job. And you know, it's just a mouse. I don't know how I'll explain it. It's just a mouse. It does the job. Um, this is just the Razer with the mouse pad. Some people are gonna say, yo, your mouse pad is too small. But for me, I feel like it's fine. I don't need one that covers the whole disc because this one does the job just fine. And I got it for free. In terms of my monitor, I use the 27 inch AOC G V2S. And bro, this shit is nice. It's a 1440p IPS. 165 hertz display, this shit is nice. Now, if you're wondering, wait, aren't you a streamer? Why you only have one screen when you stream and you do videos? Don't you need two? One to read the chat, one to, you know, do videos on. I can do everything with just one screen. So for me, I feel like there's no need for me to buy another screen. Now, if I do stream every day, 
then I might consider buying like a... But at the moment, I feel like I'm capable of doing everything I want to do just off this one screen with no problems. For my mic, I use the Shure MB7, which is fire. Now my audio interface is the focus right for every nigga has this interface. That, bro, and that's a fact. Every rapper, every broke rapper, not no not, not broke rapper, but every rapper I know that records at home, they at least have this type of interface because this shit is cheap and this shit will last you a long time. This shit is like one of the best investments you can make as a musician. And yo, I got the boom arm. You guys can see the boom arm. It goes along and comes down. Actually, bro, I bought this shit today. This is a magnetic wireless charger that comes with the one for your Apple Watch, which I have, and for your phone, and for your headphones. But yeah, essentially like that, and you know, it starts to charge. Shout out to Uzi. Shout out to Uzi, I got him on my, on, on my wallpaper. And obviously over here, we got the HomePod. This shit is fire. I can say stuff like, hey Siri, can you play Toy Lanes? Tory Lanez now playing. Hey Siri. Put on X. Can you stop the music? Hey Siri, can you play Lil Temmy, Fiji? Here's Fiji, featuring Kid Ronnie. That's Single my song. Single by Lil Temmy. That's my song. Bro, it recognizes our song. It recognizes my song. I ain't tryna cop your body, she a bad girl from Fiji Only wear a finny and body cause she bougie Make your body do the work just like Riri Every time I try to hit, she down care me She a bad girl from Fiji But shout out to Siri for playing my song Also, I can use Siri to, you know, change the lights Hey Siri, can you change the lights to red? Hey Siri, can you change the lights to white? Hey Siri, can you change the lights to blue? Now the PC. The PC is what we want. Now obviously the cool thing about my mic as well, I can bring it up. I can move it out, out of the way. And keep it behind. So when I'm watching content behind the monitor, when I'm recording, I bring it straight out. Pretty handy. It just stays right behind there. So this PC is pretty expensive. You know, I'm going to tell you the specs. All right, so for the PC, the specs are we got... A 3060 graphics card, if you're wondering why I don't have like a 3080 or a 3070 Ti, it's because I don't really game a lot. Like once I saw my PS4, I stopped gaming. Now I do game slightly, but it's like once every few months when I'm like hella bored. So that's why I think a 3060 was probably best for me. And my first PC, it was a pre-built, which is why this time I'm kind of upgrading it and I basically changed my whole PC. So now this is a brand new build I did myself and a few mates. But yeah, so I got a 3060 graphics card. I have a Ryzen 9 5900X with a Corsair H100i CPU cooler. And I have a Cooler Master Halo fan. I have three of the Leon Lee fans at the front, which is RGB as well. And I have a Leon Lee, how do you say it? Leon, <laughs> Lillian, Lion Lee. I have a Lion Lee mesh cool case, I think. That's what it's called. The case is fire. And I have a 700 watt power supply, which I think is pretty decent. And I have a G Skill Trident Z Neo, 32 gigabytes of RAM with 3600 megahertz, which I think is pretty fire. And I've got an X570 motherboard. It's X570 Elite S Ioris, something like that, which I think is fire. Besides for my SSD, which I have a Samsung 980, one terabyte, and I have a 500 gig, just as a backup, as like a hard drive, you know, just in case. All right, so we got the Leon Lee RGB shimmer, which I think is pretty fine, just to add some color to the PC. And we have the, the RAM as well. We got the CPU cooler, we got the fan, and we got just the one at the front as well, which I think is pretty fire. And I'll give you like a, I guess, a further back of the case which I guess you can kind of see it. It's not too bad. It's pretty fire. It's pretty fire. So if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you didn't, still drop a like and I'll catch you people. Hey, next time, yo, let me know what's your favorite part of my room or anything I should add. And I'm always open to kind of advice. If you think that, you know, something is not in the right place or something needs to be changed or any way to make it look a bit more fire than it is now, then hey, let me know. Just don't recommend something too expensive. Don't tell me that freaking buy a 3090 Ti 
and freaking get like custom painted Kanye West post. Bro, I, I ain't rich. I'm still grinding out here. I'm still working at nine to five, but hey, <laughs> thanks for watching. Now catch you people next time. Peace.